The Joint Health Sector Union, Johesu, and they don't give the federal government one week ultimatum to take meat up to plenty demands of the union, or else it will turn to seven days warning strike for all federal medical centers across the country. The national president of Johesu and Josiah Abiyo Belemoye in me accused the federal government to say that they're very, very insensitive to the well-being of Nigerian workers, especially for the light of the recent increase of the cost of petrol and the increase for electric money across the country, and even said the introduction of stamp duty for the nation housing sector. Johesu condemns the insensitive deregulation of fuel, price, fuel prices, the introduction of stamp duties, to be paid to Federal Inland Revenue Services, FIRS, by tenants in properties and the hike in the electricity tariff, which all combine to bring further hardship and depression to the doorsteps of citizens. Demands immediate payment of the shortfall of COVID-19 allowances to health workers in FHIs, while states and LGs develop a framework to cater for their health workers. Unconditional payment of all withheld salaries at FMC Oweri, Jute, Lute, and the complements of April and May 2018 salaries vindictively orchestrated by Professor Isaac Adewole, the former Minister of Health. In the event that the five demands, five major demands and the their attendant sub-demands are not met by the federal government. By midnight of September 13th, 2020, Joesu will commence a nationwide seven days warning strike of our members in all FHIs.